Hello everyone, Silak here with another tutorial on my YouTube channel. So I decided to start a new series and if you want to add an NPC to your game, this series will be perfect for you because I will be showing you how to make an NPC, how to make it do some basic actions like walking around, talking with player, holding tools, so enjoy the tutorial. So let's start with the really basics. If you want to create an NPC model, simply go to plugins. I have many plugins here, don't mind it. But the one you have to find is a build rig. There will be a pop-up window that will appear. And here you can choose different types of rig you want to build. I usually go with the block rig of R15. And there's our model. We can move it around using move tool. And first, very important thing you have to do is go into this dummy it's called now. Find a part called humanoid root part and set its uncolored property to false. When we will be adding movement to our dummy soon, he won't just be able to move if we don't set its anchor to false. Okay, so now that we have our dummy, we can start programming it. First thing I would like to do is making it walk between two points. Let's create two parts. And let them be our flags. So we will put one part here. And the second on the other side. Let's change those parts property. Let's set it to anchored. Can collide to false. And their transparency to one. So they will be invisible. Let's call this part part one and the second one part two okay now we go back to our dummy press on it and insert a script here we need to write a very short script which will allow our dummy to move between those two points we just set so first we need to tell the script which are those two points. So we type in local part one, part two equals workspace part one. And it's meant for this part right here. And then we set workspace part two for the second part, which is right here. Now that script knows which are those two points, we need to let the script know which one is our dummy. So we type local dummy equals workspace dummy. And it's this one right here. That's our dummy. So now we need to make it so the dummy will keep moving between those two parts on the map. To do this, we need to set a loop while true do and press enter to add an end. What this loop does, it just simply makes script go infinitely. When it will end, it will start again, all over again. So, first thing we need to do is tell the dummy to move to the first point, right here. So we will do dummy humanoid move to. This is the function that allows to tell the script 
to move to the certain point on the map where we want our dummy to head as the part one position. After this, we want this dummy to stay here for three seconds. And then we want our dummy to move to the second part. So we type in dummy humanoid move to part two position. And again, we want him to wait here for three seconds. But if we want him to stay in there for three seconds, we first need to wait for him to get there. So we type in dummy humanoid move to finished. Wait. And we can copy this line there. What this does is just stops the function until the dummy gets to the location. So now let's play the script. Dummy stays here. And then he moves to the second point. He returns back. And we'll keep on going like that infinitely. But it doesn't really look nice that he's just moving without moving his legs. It looks funny and, well, not cool. But we can change it. We need to copy the animation script from our character. So if you want him to move the normal way, you just simply play the game. Then you go into workspace, find your character, it's me, and you need to find the script called animate. Simply cut it out. Now stop the game, insert a script into our dummy. And this is local scripts, which means it won't work for our dummy. We need to translate it into normal script. So we create another script in our dummy, call it animate. And simply copy this script to the normal script. Now we can delete the script with the person image. Okay, if I did everything correctly, it should run normally. And yes, it does. Look at him. So now we know how to move our dummy around. If we want, we can add the third point. So I will just create another part and put it right here. And again, anchor it, set its scan collide to false and its transparency to one. We will call it part three. And we have to add a third part here. So local part three equals workspace. Part, whoops, workspace. Part three. And make another block right here. So dummy humanoid. Move to part one. Pos uh, part three. Position and wait for it to get here. So dummy humanoid move to, whoops, we need to have a dot here. Move to finished, wait. 
and again we're waiting three seconds here whoops wait three okay so now when we run the script our dummy stays here for three seconds then moves here and then he should move around here exactly and then he comes to the first position So that would be it for this tutorial. In the next one I will show you how to make a dummy talk with the player. He can give him some basic information. Maybe just have a talk with him. Hope you liked the tutorial. Leave a like if you did. Check out my Facebook page. So see you in the next video and goodbye.